Well, hi, and uh, welcome to spring. Uh, this is a uh, perfect time for planting all the spring and summer vegetables. The weather's right, not too cold. Uh, the plants get established before the, the weather gets too hot. Uh, and I was just going to run through a few of the um, the vegetable seedlings that we have available at this time of the year. As you can say, see, we've got a very comprehensive range of, uh, of vegetables. And uh, I was just going to run a f through a few of the more popular vegetables that everybody uh, tends to plant at this time of the year. Starting with tomatoes, of course. There's a few new varieties uh, out this year. We still have the old trusty favourites. Um, this one appeals to me. It's a variety called Midnight Snack. Uh, it's a cherry tomato and as the fruit ages it turns a darker sort of um, purple and uh, uh, gets sweeter as it uh, ages on the plant. So that's uh, a new variety. You can even see the darker growth in the, uh, in the new foliage uh, of the plant. But there's lots of different tomatoes um, with all vegetables, uh, a hot sunny position, minimum of five to six hours sun a day. Um, and uh, if you find you plant them in the shade, then the, the plants don't develop very well and you won't get fruit, for instance, from your tomatoes. So sunny, well-drained soil and um, regular feeding to keep them going. This is uh, a chilli called Italy. It's one of the uh, strong, uh, hot chilies, uh, like a bird's eye type chilli. Great time to plant those now. Chilies are like tomatoes, they're in the same family as tomatoes and uh, very easy to grow as long as they're getting regular feeding and plenty of sun. Uh, lots of different varieties of chilies and capsicums, which are another summer vegetable favourite. A whole range of lettuce varieties uh, are ready to go in now. This is the traditional iceberg lettuce, um, which are a favourite for salads, obviously one of the easiest lettuce varieties to grow and um, they develop very quickly at this time of the year. Just keep them ticking along by feeding them, um, feeding them every couple of weeks with a, a good liquid fertiliser and prior to planting add some dry fertilisers such as blood and bone which uh, helps to give the plant a bit of nitrogen and keep them growing. Uh, there's other things like um, pumpkins if you've got a larger garden um, pumpkins take up a bit of space uh, but they do reward you at the end of the summer season and you can store uh, your pumpkins as they develop through the winter for use later on. Uh, it is a long term crop and does take up a bit of room. There are some varieties available these days which are more compact, have smaller fruit and um, are uh, just as easy to grow. Pumpkins grow quickly but they take a while before they develop their fruit and the fruit to mature. Other favourites, things like the uh, silver beet, very easy vegetable to grow, can be grown in a pot if need be, um, develops very quickly, you'd probably have silver beet available to eat within around about eight to ten weeks, which is uh, very good for a plant. You can get the coloured stem varieties, you can get just the normal white stem variety spinach, um, and uh, again, very, very easy to grow plants. Still a good time to um, plant things like pak choy, another quick growing Asian vegetable for those of you who like stir fries. And uh, you can pick them in the ground, take the leaves off the plant as they develop and, uh, and use them as, as you need to. Um, very easy to grow plant, a very quick growing plant. Other things that we, uh, we have now and good time to plant uh, kale, uh, broccoli, uh, uh, they're um, uh, very good through the warmer months of the year. A favourite with uh, the Italian community are eggplants and um, they have uh, the large uh, dark fruit later, later in the season. Another easy vegetable to grow. One thing worth noting when you are growing any types of vegetables in the garden, soil preparation is the key. There's various products that can be used to add to the soil to improve the quality of your soil. Vegetables are gross feeding plants. They love lots of fertiliser and a very well conditioned soil prior to planting. One of the products we like recommending here at the greenery is Zugro. It's a fantastic organic composted type uh, manure 
which is suitable for any plants, well incorporated into the soil at planting time, will get your veggies off to a great start. I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, having uh, the importance of a raised vegetable garden, which assists with the drainage around the root system of the plant. It also allows you to incorporate a lot of the organic matter that I've mentioned previously. Vegetables love a deep, uh, rich organic soil and having the garden elevated um, helps with that. If you leave the garden at existing levels, um, then the, the plants don't tend to grow as well and run the risk of becoming waterlogged if, uh, if the drainage is, isn't very good. Uh, this vegetable garden is going to be planted about two to three weeks. So you can see how they're already bolting away. We've put them in a very good soil. Um, they've had a little bit of fertiliser at planting time. You can see the size of these silver beet after about two to three weeks. So the benefits of feeding raised garden bed, well drained soil is, uh, is going to help your veggies really, really kick along. It won't be long we'll be uh, eating these. All credit goes to Amy, one of our staff here at the greenery who's uh, who planted up this uh, vegetable garden. We'll be looking forward to eating the, uh, the fruits of her labour.